Mauritania is a location in the Western Sahara Desert of Mauritania called the Rishat Structure. It's also commonly referred to as the Eye of the Sahara. And what's so spectacular about this is that it just so happens to match what Plato had described as the lost ancient city of Atlantis. So Jimmy has been making these claims for quite a while, at least five years now. And there really is absolutely nothing to it whatsoever. So first of all, it's pretty in, uh, uncontroversial that the reshot structure is a natural formation. It is what we call a collapsed magma dome. Uh, even the Atlantis believers can't really contend this. So what they say is that, well, yeah, they built Atlantis in this natural formation because it was very, very convenient. Uh, the problem with that claim is that there's zero evidence of any city existing there. You can't make an entire city vanish without a trace. If there was an actual city 12,000 years ago or whatever at the reshot structure, the archaeological evidence would be pretty overwhelming. Instead, the arche archaeological evidence is zero. There isn't a single artifact from anything that could be a city like the alleged Atlantis. Uh, so and and so they how do they respond to this? They say, well, we've never looked. Yes, we have. In fact, archaeolog archaeologists have picked over the reshot structure. What do we find when we look at the, when we look at that area? Well, you find are stone tools. They found pre Aeschylean Aeschylean stone tools and some uh, Neolithic stone tools. So there are stone tools there that date back from something like a million years ago. And yet, not a single shard of a clay pot from 12,000 years ago. Uh, there's also stone spearheads from the period, from 12,000 years ago, from the period where there was supposed to be a city there. And in fact, archaeologists could, concluded that what the evidence shows is that hunter gatherers maybe moved through this area. They probably used it as a campsite. They used it as a place to make their, their stone tools and for hunting, but they never built any structures there. They never lived there. There isn't any evidence of even any Paleolithic, you know, hunter-gatherers building huts there, let alone an entire city. So that argument simply does not hold water. What about the notion that it exactly matches uh, Plato's description of Atlantis? That's all nonsense as well. The only, it has a vague resemblance to what uh, Plato said because there's concentric rings in there, but the rings aren't fully formed, first of all. They would not hold water in, semi, in these uh, uh, concentric rings of canals. If you filled that thing with water, it would not look like that at all. Um, the, the, according to Plato's description, there was supposed to be a canal running through the middle of it. There is no such, such structure there. So it only matches if you ignore all the details that don't match and you force fit ones to sort a kind of match and then declare it an exact fit. What about the notion that it opens to the ocean to the south? Well, they're actually pointing to a sand structure that, that extends to the southwest, and it's actually more west than south, uh, but it's very far from the Atlantic Ocean. So that you can't just say, well, that was during the green period. It's literally miles away from, from the ocean, nowhere near it. And, and it would not have been completely filled with water at that time. It's, the altitude is way too high. So it actually doesn't fit at all. It doesn't fit the, the structure that was described by Plato. There's, no, there's zero archaeological evidence for a city being there. There's you know, none of the improvements or the canals or anything that you would expect if, they, if that natural structure were made into a city. Uh, it really is a silly claim. We could also add the fact that, you know, Atlantis doesn't exist. You know, Atlantis itself is it was a just a rhetorical device used by Plato. There is no evidence that it was he meant it as a serious claim, as an actual factual claim. There's no evidence that Atlantis exists or the civilization that allegedly created Atlantis existed, uh, and specifically none that it exists at that location. So the whole thing is pseudoscience from beginning to end. Uh, just, you know, talk to an, an actual archaeologist, look at what the archaeological research has shown, and it becomes incredibly clear. But it's really easy to create these hand-waving, mystery-mongering arguments about, oh, look at the, look at how the coincidences here. What could that possibly mean? It means nothing. <laughs>